How you doing everyone? Welcome back to me. I have been um, out of uh, the YouTube action for about two weeks now, but now I'm back making tutorials and I've actually been using my time to create apps instead of tutorials. And in fact, I got an app accepted by the App Store, so uh, maybe I'll leave a link below. You should definitely check it out. It's my first app ever made. Um, I'm gonna put some updates in right now. It's like a quiz game. It's pretty cool. Only got a hundred questions right now, but you know I'm gonna update it, add some more features. But you know if you wanna see uh, what an app is, and uh, you know if you don't know by now, then you're probably screwed. But anyways, go buy my app. That's what I'm saying. I mean I gave you like 800 free tutorials. It's the least you could do. And if you wanna rate it five, I'm not gonna hate you. All right. So tonight. I have two more apps waiting to be approved and I didn't really, really um, start making any more so right now I just decided to get drunk and make some tutorials. So I got the first part taken care of, taking care of the second part now. And drunk tutorials are much like regular tutorials except if I get an error or I mess up anything now then I'm just going to start breaking stuff so you know a little bit different but overall the same. So I already made um, project I guess you could say um, or started an app and I just made it um, was a view based so we only have one view controller so that's what I did so far you didn't miss out on anything too much trust me save you all the hassle so what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial is I'm gonna teach you how to save and load data because you know the apps we made so far they're kinda just you know you can't really save any data I didn't teach you any of that so pretty much every time you open your app it's pretty much the same as you looked at your app for the first time you download it so if you want to have any high scores or if you want to have any um you know just settings that you wanted to save it would be impossible until now dun, dun, dun. so let's go ahead and learn how to do that what we're going to be creating is just a really simple text field on the screen and you're going to type something into it and then when you close your app it's going to save it and then you know you can go go to the internet go check your mail and then when you come back it's going to be right there waiting for you bam saving data awesome so what we need on screen is a UI text field I'm going to try to put text view in there I saw you and we'll go ahead and name it field 1 because you know we have to name it a number of course because it's our only field alright so this is gonna represent a text field on the screen that's all we're gonna have it's gonna be really dumb looking so ns string wow messed that up already son of a getting mad already ns really ns string this might take a while Calm down. stay with me alright and go ahead and name this path of file and what this method is going to do is it's going to return to you the path or in other words the file that we want to save to and uh, you'll understand later but anyways now that we have the file we want to save to what we want to do is make the method to save it and we want to save I mean you can put a button to when you click it you save but we want to use the application will terminate and this is a built-in method that gets called automatically when the application will close and so whenever they close or quit the application we want to save the data automatically so it takes void plant parameter um actually I just have it copied right over here and if you're saying Bucky you can't do that it's cheating well actually it's a uh, if you go hold and control let me see click that control or option is and click or you know just do this it's easier right click it and press find text in documentation here's my rule any text that I can find in the documentation I can go ahead and copy from somewhere else so yeah it's not cheating so leave me alone you trolls alright so now let's go ahead and build this need an overview one last time alright I'll give it to you this is going to be a text field on the screen this is going to be a method to retrieve the path of the file that we're going to save to and this is the method that's actually going to do the saving whenever our program is about to shut down we want to save all the data and uh, you know 
that's all we want to do actually so now that we have this built we can go ahead and in our nib and by the way check this out I downloaded the new iPhone SDK 4 or whatever and this library I don't like it I like the other style view this one is like one big scroll bar I like it with all little icons so if anyone knows how to get the icons back I know it'll take me five seconds to look up but I'm too lazy if, if anyone knows how to get those icons back you know let me know alright so here's what we got so far a view on the screen looks pretty cool what we want to add to it is if I can find it with this dumb view let me scroll down scroll down a text field bam gotcha so just go ahead and add the text field right there and then go ahead in your files owner control and drag and I must not have saved this oh I know what I did well this is uh, quite embarrassing synthesize oh wait a minute getting ahead of myself at property non-atomic maybe I shouldn't have that last beer retain and IB outlet and then just go ahead and copy this and now what that does is create an outlet for you on the screen so now we can go ahead and build this slam pig right here build it save it shave it I'm just kidding there is no saying that goes like that at all so don't you know don't try it. so now if you go ahead and control drag go ahead and select field one and now this text field represents field one in our code so file save interface quit interface while wow, we are speeding through this so now we can go ahead and let me do this before I forget copy that alright under implementation go ahead and synthesize field one and now go ahead and copy these methods and we can go ahead and implement them copy paste that shiz right there and go ahead and path the file add body to that and I actually add all my bodies first let the bodies hit the flow alright path the file and you know what you know what I decided just now win the moment um I'm actually gonna do all this in the next tutorial and it might even run other run over to a third tutorial I don't know but I'm probably gonna go funnel some beers and uh, yeah you study try to understand what went on so far and yeah I'll see you next time oh I know what you can do check out my app plug plug alright thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you later